I know. It was amazing when I was picking up Rainia and I saw the snow coming down. It's pretty, but I was it's, like, go away. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like, pretty. Yeah, but it's we're not, over it. Exactly. exactly. We're over it. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, did you know that today is the national day for one of America's most popular breakfast foods, that being cereal? Yeah, everybody <laughs> loves cereal. And with Haley out today, Jill Sweat's back at the desk for the buzz. Okay, ladies, cereal has been America's most popular breakfast staple since the end of the 19th century. According to a survey from Shopkick, most Americans buy at least one box of cereal when they go grocery shopping. But America Americans have been putting down their spoons in recent years. In fact, cereal sales have declined year over year since 2012, dropping by a half a billion dollars last year alone. How about you guys? You, you like cereal? I do. Yeah. I do too. I guess I What's have it favorite? almost every morning, really. What's your favorite? I like the granola cereals and stuff. Yeah. No, no particular brand necessarily, right. but I don't know, I guess it's kind of healthy. How about yeah. you? Well, I start, I, I like oatmeal in the morning, but okay. like if it has to be like a dry cereal, I'm, I have like Honey Nut Cheerios. That's mm, like my yeah. go-to. Okay, classic. Golden Grahams. Oh, yeah. And That's don't you love too. it when the milk starts to taste like yeah. the cereal too? It's good. Oh, I don't like milk on my cereal. Oh, what? I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't eat it dry. Oh, I eat it dry. Oh, I like loaded oh, down. the I farmers know. out there are like, oh <laughs> my gosh. I, I like milk, just separate. Not okay. just, just on separate. my cereal. Yeah. 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 No, I like to use tons of milk. Do you? Me too. Me too. Well, that was the only way my mom could get me to drink it. All right, with streaming services like Hulu and Netflix available, it might be hard to remember going to a Blockbuster video store. With news that the only Blockbuster store in Australia will be closing in just a few weeks, the location in Bend, Oregon will be the home of the last Blockbuster video on Earth. Well, the store in Bend, Oregon became the last in the U.S. when two blockbusters in Alaska closed their doors. Australian media reports the blockbuster there will close at the end of the month. There were more than 9,000 blockbuster stores at the company's peak in 2004. This, of course, before the rise of streaming as well as on-demand movies. I'm dating myself, but when I was in college, it was a big deal to get your Blockbuster card, and that was oh, like yeah. Friday night thing, yeah. and they had, you know, little buckets of popcorn you can get, yeah. and the, the big Twizzlers things. Talk about nostalgia, you know? Yeah. I know. Yeah, that was it. a sleepover tradition. Like, you know, my girlfriends and I, we'd all oh, go to Blockbuster. Yeah. Uh, of course, our mom would take us there. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we would pick out our movie that we were going to watch. Because you're going to make mm -hmm. it a Blockbuster yeah. night. Can you yeah, imagine? Yeah, I know. Just going to, yeah, going what? to a video rental store was exciting. Yeah, because yeah, you, you just, don't do it anymore. Especially where it said new releases. <laughs> right. You know? Oh, and yeah. then you could find, like, oh, this is a cool movie <laughs> that everybody's talking about. Uh, but now we move into the 21st century yeah. and when we leave those things behind. All right, and many of us have either used Uber, Lyft, or the traditional taxi cab, but I bet it was nothing like the one you're about to see. An Uber driver in Washington State is now offering his passengers a menu. Oh yes, this is very highbrow. Yep, you can <laughs> now choose whether to have a silent ride, a funny ride, a therapy ride, or maybe even a creepy ride. George Ur wants his passengers to enjoy their ride, so he gives them the option. And they include a stand-up ride where he performs his best comedy routine. The silent ride, of course, that's self-explanatory. The therapy ride, you can kind of figure that one for people who may have had just a bad day. And the creepy or rude ride. George, the driver, says he's proving it is about so much more than the destination. It's the journey, too. I don't no. want my Uber driver, my taxi cab driver yeah. doing a routine for I'm me. I'm good. No. It is about the destination. Let's yeah. just get there safe. Yeah. And I, I don't know. Maybe I'm boring. I think I'd pick the silent ride. Yeah, yeah. me too. Like, sometimes even like the chatty Uber drivers are just like, mm, you know, I just got off a long flight. My yeah. friends yeah. and I just like, got, you know, finished eating dinner or whatever. I just yeah. need a quiet ride. Yeah. And I'm just trying to wrap my mind around the creepy ride. I mean, I know. you know. Ooh. I don't want that because when you're in the car, you you know you're already kind of white knuckle, especially if you're like right. a type A person. We're, like <laughs> we're already strangers here. Yeah, Let's right. not make Let's it any that way. Yeah. But I guess maybe the therapy ride if you're a stranger, maybe you can emote easier yeah. with that strangers. That would be interesting. No, but still. I don't know. Okay. And that's the buzz. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Stick around. We've got more traffic and weather coming your way next on Lex 18 News at four.